If in an objectivist society, a philosopher like Kant emerges and starts spreading evil ideas to undercut Ayn Rand, should he be allowed to exercise his free speech? Should you merely try to uh, refute him, uh, his ideas, or is it okay to kill him? God, no, it's not okay to kill him. We're talking about speech, not action. If he takes a gun and starts to uh, behave like Hitler, even though 100 years later, 200 years later, he caused Hitler in his life and in his own actions, all he did is talk. He didn't even incite riots. If you allow the reason that if somebody preaches an idea which will lead to bad consequences, it should be okay to kill him, do you know who would be the first to be killed? Ayn Rand. How many people will think she's destroying society? How many people hate her with such a passion? You know, when Paul Ryan was asked by, what's that weird guy, Romney, I think it was Romney, to be his vice president, Romney sat him down and told him, I'll appoint you only if you forget Ayn Rand. And he said quickly, oh, I only liked her economics anyway, so no problem. I mean, the whole, the Democrats hate her, the Republicans hate her, uh, and, you know, the Hollywood hates her, and academia hates her. If you come down with, oh, it's okay to kill people that are bad and giving us evil ideas, undercutting our achievements, it's, it's fantastic. Uh, it's ridiculous. That's why we have freedom of speech, but not freedom of action if it violates the rights of others. And killing somebody is unequivocally violating his rights. I went a little long.